the develop and welcome to the first in this series BMAT chemistry atomic structure let us begin by having a look at the learning objectives a more detailed list can be found at this link which is also included in the description box of this video let us now get into the lesson the development of modern atomic theory revealed much about the inner structure of atoms it was learned that an atom contains a very small nucleus, composed of positively charged protons and uncharged neutrons, surrounded by a much larger volume of space containing negatively charged electrons. The nucleus contains the majority of an atom's mass, because protons and neutrons are much heavier than electrons, whereas electrons occupy almost all of an atom's volume. A proton has a mass of 1.0073 amu, which stands for atomic mass units, and a charge of 1 plus. A neutron is a slightly heavier particle with a mass 1.087 amu, and a charge of 0, as its name suggests, it is neutral. The electron has a charge of 1, and is a much lighter particle, with a mass of about 0.0055 amu. It would take about 1800 electrons to equal the mass of one proton. The properties of these fundamental particles are summarized in. An observant student might notice that the sum of an atom's subatomic particles does not equal the atom's actual mass. The total mass of 6 protons, 6 neutrons, and 6 electrons, is 12.0993 amu, slightly larger than 12.00 amu. This missing mass is known as the mass defect. Atomic number, Z equals, number of protons atomic mass, A equals, number of protons plus, number of neutrons Z equals, number of neutrons. The energy levels are labeled with an N value, where N equals 1, 2, 3, etc. The energy of an electron in atom is greater for greater values of N. This number, n, is referred to as the principal quantum number. The principal quantum number defines the location of the energy level. It is essentially the same concept as the n in the Bohr atom description. Another name for the principal quantum number is the shell number. The shells of an atom can be thought of concentric circles radiating out from the nucleus. The electrons that belong to a specific shell are most likely to be found within the corresponding circular area. The further we proceed from the nucleus, the higher the shell number, and so the higher the energy level. Pause the video here, and make sure you are able to write the electronic configurations for the first 20 elements. Isotopes are, atoms that contain the same number of protons, but different numbers of neutrons. The occurrence, and natural abundances of isotopes can be experimentally determined using an instrument called a mass spectrometer. Mass spectrometry, MS, is widely used in chemistry, forensics, medicine, environmental science, and many other fields to analyze, and help identify the substances in a sample of material. In a typical mass spectrometer the sample is vaporized, and exposed to a high energy electron beam that causes the sample's atoms, or molecules, to become electrically charged, typically by losing one or more electrons. These cations then pass through, variable, electric or magnetic field, that deflects each cation's path to an extent, that depends on both its mass and charge, like how the path of a large steel ball bearing rolling past a magnet is deflected to a lesser extent, than that of a small steel BB. The ions are detected, and a plot of the relative number of ions generated versus their mass to charge ratios, a mass spectrum, is made. The height of each vertical feature or peak in a mass spectrum is proportional to the fraction of cations with the specified mass to charge ratio. Since its initial use during the development of modern atomic theory, MS has evolved to become a powerful tool for chemical analysis in a wide range of applications. The mass of an element shown in a periodic table, or listed in a table of atomic masses is a weighted, average mass of all the isotopes present in a naturally occurring sample of that element. This is equal to the sum of each individual isotope's mass multiplied by its fractional abundance. Take a look at this example calculation. Calculation of average atomic mass A meteorite found in central Indiana, contains traces of the noble gas neon picked up from the solar wind during the meteorite's trip through the solar system. Analysis of a sample of the gas showed, that it consisted of 91.84% 20 Na, mass 19.9924 Amu, 0.47% 21 Na, mass 20.994 Amu, and 7.69% 22 Na, mass 21.9914 Amu. What is the average mass of the neon in the solar wind? Solution average mass equals 0.9184 times 19.9924 amu plus 0.0047 times 20.994 amu plus 0.0769 times 21.9914 amu equals 18.36 plus 0.099 plus 1.69 amu equals 20.15 amu the average mass of a neon atom in the solar wind is 20.15 amu the average mass of a terrestrial neon atom is 20.1796 amu this result demonstrates that we may find slight differences in the natural abundance of isotopes, depending on their origin. You, next video, the periodic table.